Okay, in this video, what we'll be looking at is chi-squared squared analysis using Excel and Solver. So let's start off with this. Suppose you acquire a set of data points, x, y, for an experiment that you performed n number of times. You graph the points, and they appear to be a certain function, let's say f of x but you are not sure. How can you verify if the points resemble that function f of x? Well, you may use the built-in trend line function in Excel, but how do you know this built-in trend line function finds the best answer? Well, what you can do is, instead of using the built-in trend line function, you can use chi-squared analysis. What is chi-squared analysis? Chi-squared analysis is given by the equation chi-squared is equal to summation from 1 to n of y minus f of x, that valued squared, divided by sigma squared, where f of x is equal to, let's say, some function ax squared plus bx plus c plus x raised to the negative 1, where the x here is the same x that we're talking about from our chi-squared equation, of course. And sigma sub i is actually equal to the standard deviation found when performing the experiment. Okay? So if we want to check to see if this function really does resemble, let's say, a function that we think it may be, what we would do is we would use this chi-squared analysis equation and minimize this chi-squared equation by changing the coefficients a, b, c, and d, for example. Okay? So let's take an example to show how this is actually done. On this Excel spreadsheet, I have here set up an experiment, let's say a uh, hypothetical experiment that was performed. In that experiment, we have independent variables x and dependent variables y. And we perform the, this experiment four different times. We have uncertainty for the y values, where the uncertainty for the sake of keeping this simple the uncertainty for all of them is equal to 1. We may find the function f of x for this problem, and for this problem, we're just going to keep it simple. Instead of going with the uh, four variables a, b, c, and d, we're just going to use a, b, and c. So for the function f of x, that function in this case is going to be equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? Where our A's, B, and C that we're going to be starting with is going to be, in this case, I just set it to be equal to 1, 2, and 3. All right? So each of these here, these f of x's that we're going to find, okay, will be equal to the coefficient A times x, which in this case is 1. That x is going to be squared plus the coefficient b times the same x plus c now, which came from here. And you can see that from this equation. All right, so each of these terms now would be equal to the corresponding a, coefficient a, b, and c with the corresponding x's. All right, once we've developed each of these f of x's now, we may use those f of x's along with the y outputs, dependent variables that were found, in order to develop the terms for the chi-square uh, analysis information. All right. So as you can see here, based off of that information um, from the f of x and the y, and again, we're collecting these from the F column here and the D column divided by the uncertainty, okay? 
you can see that we got these four terms here that will then be summed up together which then gives us our chi-square uh, value okay in addition to having this data here I've already plotted the data that we've collected these data points one two three four came from these four points here are X's and Y's and our line here represents the curve that we're trying to fit to these data points and right now the curve is here and that is based off of the fact that we're using this value for A, this value for B, this value for C and we're plugging those into this f of x equation here which then gives us our f of x so we're plotting the, the red line here represents these x's versus f of x okay and the data points here these four data points are these x's versus y all right so as you can see here I also wrote that when we're solving for our chi-square we're going to need to make sure that the value that is here should be smaller than this number of, the number of terms so we have a total number of terms of four and when we do our minimization for our curve fitting we just need to make sure that the number of that we found for chi-square is less than four okay all right, so how are we going to perform the minimization? In order to perform the minimization, you're going to need to use a solver. If you do not have the solver installed already, what you need to do is, and by the way, the solver is under the data tab and over here under the analysis. If you do not have the solver installed already, do not worry about it. It is a free uh, add-in. You'd go to File, click on Options, once the options come up, you're going to click on add-ins, which will give you this. You're going to then go down here to manage and then make sure Excel add-ins is there. You're going to click on go. Once you click on go, it's, you're going to get these. You go ahead and put a check mark in the solver add-in and click OK. All right. Now, I already have the solver add-in, so I'm not going to click OK, but you would go ahead and click OK, and then it's going to install the solver. All right? After you've installed the solver, again, the solver is going to be under the data tab, and it's going to be in the analysis section over here. Once you've installed the solver, you, you now go ahead and use the solver. And again, this, this box here is just the sum of all of these uh, four terms here. You're going to click on the solver now, and you're going to get this window. All right? Now, remember, what we're doing is we're minimizing, so make sure that you click on the radio button for minimize. And you want to set the object. So my object that I'm setting is these, the sum of all these terms here. So that's why I have G9 here. So you're going to make sure that you have G9 inside of this box or, or whatever yours is. You're going to have that inside of that box. All right. And then it's going to ask you also, what are you changing? What variables are you changing? Or in this case, what coefficients are you changing? I guess you can say because they're truly coefficients. But then you're going to uh, because you change them, they're going to be variables. All right. So for me, I'm changing these three, one, two and three, which are i j and k uh three on on row three so you make sure that you put place that in there and you can place that in there by clicking on these buttons by the way all right once you've done that you go ahead and hit solve so i'm going to go ahead and hit solve and you'll notice that the values over here change okay and they give us these values now and I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, solution. And what you'll notice now is that my chi-square value came out to be less than the number of samples that I have, which are four. So this is a valid uh, solution. And you'll notice that it says that my A value 
or a coefficient would be 1.23, let's say. I'm going to stop at two numbers after decimal point. And my C value should be equal to 1.48, okay? And my B value should be equal to 0. And you'll notice here, as we go down to the actual graph, because it adjusted everything after uh, as it was solving, you'll notice that my uh, trend line here passes through almost all of my data points and the error bars. Okay, So this is the best fit that it can find here. So what this is saying then is that my uh, function came down to 1.24 uh, times x squared plus 1.48. All right? So that's how you'd go about using the solver and chi-square in order to curve fit a set of data points that you found. And again, this is an alternative to using the trend line that is within um, Excel. If you have any questions as to how to set up the graph, I have another video on YouTube that you may take a look at, and that would explain how to set up the graph. I just figured I won't do it for this, since this is more about finding chi-squared, uh, or using chi-squared in order to do the uh, curve fitting. So please do check out my YouTube channel for additional uh, useful videos. And please do check out my website at www.clydeletsum.com. Again, that's www.clydeletsum.com.